There's no more DVD Studio Pro unless you keep your existing applications. As we see, we now have a share menu similar to iMovie, which gives us all the options to upload even straight to YouTube, Facebook, or you can just export the movie. So if we click on Media Browser, then DVD, this should allow us to see the interface that is effectively replacing DVD Studio Pro. Okay, so now we have created a DVD of Final Cut Pro X, which is the name of the project. So we have our output device, automatic layers, disks template, black or white, when disk loads, show menu. Or you can just play the movie. So we can add our own individual background. And I will just look for a still image. We just use this JPEG here and then we can see it's been applied straight there and you can cancel this by pressing the X. Now the project tab, what's interesting is there is a visual preview and a scrubber on the image of the TV screen, which is fantastic. So you can have one more final check over of the project before you burn it. Let's go back to main menu and try advanced. So background rendering gives you the option to add other computers to the rendering and the summary just tells you the two files would be created MV2 and AC3 that's the audio and the video now obviously the problem here is there really isn't any options for your DVD menus um, unfortunately but I'm sure if you had more individual events you would be able to create a simple list um, but that still isn't enough and obviously Apple were trying to push uh, publishing straight to the internet and not using physical media. Now if we just export the movie so that you can do whatever you like with it outside of Final Cut. Here we have the Export Final Cut Pro X as a, as a QuickTime movie. So you have your, same as before, you have your settings, although it appears that you know the options are far reduced. I remember in Final Cut Pro 7 the list you know went off of the screen. Um, but this obviously is just as a QuickTime uh, movie. After export you can open it, open it with compressor to convert it into other formats. Uh, compressor will be in another video that I'll be uploading and include video and audio. Now in summary again you just have the format, the QuickTime movie and its resolution and frame rate. All very simple and nice and again you have this scrubbing uh, element in the save dialog box which even represents how it will look in a quick time window so here we have the title gradient and the piece of video so if I just command and click each of these items we can then right click on any of them and press new compound clip which places all of the external elements into one single blue line so having clicked on the double arrows and pressing audio enhancements we can now go up to the audio enhancements inspector and see that we have our loudness, background noise removal and hum removal which were features that used to be in Soundtrack Pro but now built straight in. Reminding us of Final Cut Pro 7 we have this arrow button that we can click which changes the uh, use of our cursor so we can do a range selection, use a cut blade, zoom or use the hand tool. So if we want to cut a segment out we can just click this or press B on the keyboard. When looking at organizing media there are a couple of options. We can use this switch down here to bring up options to show the waveforms before we've even brought it into the timeline. So this second clip has no audio problem so we can mark the clip as a favorite which gives it a green banner. If we press command and K we bring up the keyword editor. So here we can type in interview. which means that now we have brought up a keyword list under new event. So if we had lots of footage and only certain segments of it were an interview, we could press that and the clip would come up. So if we bring that clip in even further and then press Command and K, we can call that title only. And if we close that, go to title only, 
only the clip that was highlighted in yellow is now included under this subheading. For £179 it is a fantastic application. Um, everything is truly all in one place. Sure some things are lacking such as the DVD creation um, but the freedom and the creativity that you get um, with all of the other elements um, is just completely worth it and this is also the first time I've used it and I've managed to find most of the elements that you would need um, and I can understand why Apple have discontinued Final Cut Express because well, I don't think you need it, there's no intermediate now, you've got iMovie or this and that is definitely all you need. This has been my quick look at Final Cut Pro X um, there'll be tutorials up on the website Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.